So this is the complete project. This is the front page of the project. At first you will write your school's name, that means your school's name, then session, then you write your name here, class, section, your roll number, mathematics project, and the topic quadrilateral, that means in which topic you are doing the project, that topic you will write here. This is the content of the project. Page number one. So you can see relationship between the quadrilaterals. So here is quadrilateral. So these are the types of the quadrilateral. That means parallelogram, trapezium, square, rectangle, rhombus, and kite. So these are the types of quadrilaterals. Page number two. Rectangle. So you can see A, B, C, D is a rectangle here. A parallelogram in which each angle is a right angle is called a rectangle. That means angle A, angle B, angle C, and angle D all are 90 degree angle. So next part is here, properties of a rectangle. Point number one, opposite sides of a rectangle are equal and parallel. Parallel. That means opposite side means AB opposite side CD, ED opposite side BC. Equal length and parallel also both. Each angle is a rectangle is 90 degree. That means angle A, B, C, D all are 90 degree angle. Diagonals of a rectangle are equal. Diagonal means AC diagonal and BD diagonal. Both are same length. Thus, in a rectangle ABCD, we have point one. AB equal to CD, AB equal to CD, AD equal to BC, AD equal to BC, and AB parallel CD, AB parallel CD, and ED parallel BC. Point number two, angle A, B, C, D all are 90 degree angle. That's the equal to given here. Diagonals AC, diagonals AC means this one is the diagonal AC, and BD both will be same in length. Page number three, trapezium. So this is the trapezium. A quadrilateral having one and only one pair of parallel sides is called a trapezium. So you can see AB side and CD side are parallel sides, so it's a trapezium. In the adjacent figure, ABCD is a trapezium in which AB parallels DCD. So this side, this side parallel sides. A trapezium is said to be an isoscale trapezium if its non-parallel sides are equal. Non-parallel sides are equal. In the given figure PQRS, PQRS is an isoscale trapezium in which PQ parallel SR, PQ parallel SR and PS, PS equal to QR. So that's why it's a isoscal trapezium. Remark part is given. The diagonals of an isoscal trapezium are always equal. That means PQ, PR diagonal and QS diagonal both will be same in length. Page number four, parallelogram. So this is the parallelogram. A quadrilateral in which both pairs of opposite sides are parallel is called a parallelogram. That means AB side, CD side parallel, AD side and BC side both are parallel. In the given figure, AB, CD is a parallelogram in which AB parallel CD and AD parallel BC. We denoted it by the double LGM. Double LGM means parallelogram. Short form of parallelogram that is called double LGM AB, CD. Properties of the parallelogram. So these are the these are the properties. Point is first point. The opposite sides of a parallelogram double LGM means short form parallelogram are equal and parallel. The opposite angles of a parallelogram are equal. Point number three, the diagonals of a parallelogram bisect each other. Bisect means what? So AC and BD, both are the diagonals and they are bisecting point that is O, OA, that means OA and OC both will be same in length and OB and OD both will be same in length. Thus, in the parallelogram ABCD, we have point one, AB equal to CD, already I said, AB equal to CD, AD equal to BC and both are parallel also. Point number two, angle ABC, this angle and angle ADC both will be same and angle BAD, this angle and BCD, this angle both will be same. Point number three, in the diagonals AC and BD, AC diagonal and BD diagonal, AC diagonal and BD diagonal bisect at the point O. So here, OA, OA equal to OC, OB equal to OD. So this is written here. Page number five, square. A parallelogram in which all the sides are equal and each angle is a right angle is called a square. This is the definition of the square. Then the properties is given. Properties of the square. Point number one. The sides of a square are all equal. The sides of the square are all equal. That means AB side, BC side, CD side and DA all are equal in length. Point number two. Each angle of a square is 90 degree. That means these are 90 degree angle. 
Point number three, the diagonals of a square are equal and bisect each other at, it, at right angles. So that means AC diagonal and BD diagonal both are same in length and they are bisecting also and this angle, this angle, all angle will be 90 degree angle. Thus in the square ABCD, we have AB, BC, equal, AB equal to BC, equal to CD, equal to DA. That means all side length is same here. Point number two, angle ABCD, that means all angles will be 90 degree angle. And the point number three, diagonals AC equal to diagonal BD. That means AC diagonal and BD diagonal both are same in length. Page number six, rhombus. So A, B, C, D, it's a rhombus. A paragraph in which all the sides are equal is called a rhombus. All sides are equal here, rhombus. And the properties of the rhombus are given here. Point number one, the opposite sides of a rhombus are equal. The, that means A, B side, C, D side equal. All the sides of the rhombus are also equal. That means that all sides of the rhombus is equal in length. Point number three, the opposite angles of a rhombus are equal. That means angle A, angle C equal, angle D, angle B, both are equal in length. That means equal angles. Point four, point number four, the diagonals of a rhombus bisect each other at right angles. Again, I am telling, the diagonals of a rhombus bisect each other. Bisect means OA, OC, both are same length. OD and OB both are same in length and right angle means this angle will be 90 degree angle. Thus in the rhombus ABCD we have point 1 AB parallel CD that means AB parallel CD then AD parallel C BC also point number 2 AB equal to BC equal to CD equal to D that means all sides will be same in length. Point number 3 angle DAB DAB this angle and angle BCD this angle equal angle ADC this angle and angle ABC this angle equal point number four let the diagonals AC and BD intersect at O AC diagonal and BD diagonal intersect at the point O then OA equal to OC OD equal to OB that is written here and angle also given AOD this angle angle DOC this angle angle COD this angle and angle ABC a, O, B, this angle, all are 90 degree angle, right angle means 90 degree angle. Page number 7, kite. So this is the kite. A quadrilateral which has two pairs of equal adjacent sides but unequal opposite side is called a kite. So this is the definition of the kite. In the given figure, this is the figure, A, B, C, D is a kite in which B, C equal to C, D. That means B, C equal to C, D and A, B equal to A, D. But A, B not equal to C, D or AD not equal to BC. Now, acknowledgement. I would like to express my special thanks or gratitude to my mathematics teacher. So, you will write your mathematics teacher name here as well as our principal and you will write your school's principal name who gave me the golden opportunity to do this wonderful project on the topic quadrilateral. So, our topic name is quadrilateral. That's why we will write here quadrilateral. Secondly, I would also like to thank my parents and friends who helped me a lot in finalizing this project within the limited time frame. I am making this project not only for marks but also increase my knowledge. Thanks again to all who helped me. So this is the complete acknowledgement how to make this figure on the color paper. I already made another video. That video I will attach in the comment section. You can check from there. So this is the complete project. Stay with Arden sir and give a like. Thank you everyone.